Oh, ATGM. Needs to be very careful. I think he's trying to take a shot. Oh, he dumps it short. ATGM might be coming in just after the smoke clears. Right, uh, be careful he peeks this. Oh, and he takes out the gunner and the ATGM flies right by. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a round of squad from the top down. And in this one, we've got something special that a few of you guys have been asking for, so here it finally is. The Aussies on Anvil, a map that came out late last year and was actually originally part of the Aussie mod for Squad before it was purchased by OWI. This map has some insane sightlines and this layer has actually nine objectives for random advance to secure, making it one of the largest in the game. And although this may be a pain for the infantry, the one huge upside is that we usually get some really amazing long range tank fights. And this game did not disappoint. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you would like to see in a future episode. And don't forget to check out the live streams at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. The live streams are a lot of fun, so I hope to see you there. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. I don't know if we've ever had an Anvil episode. Uh, Anvil's actually one of the maps that was included in the Aussie mod when it was a mod. Uh, Anvil and Lashkar. Uh, it's... <laughs> I want to say it's been a fantastic popular map, but it, it is one of those maps where a lot of people get sick of it pretty soon after playing it. As beautiful as it looks, and we are on board with the Aussies here, is random, advance, and secure. And you can see, I mean, this is a great looking... I mean, look at that. That is amazing. Hey, Back there, GG, slow as hell. Sheesh. Sheesh. The sh I'm not gonna lie, the sheesh kind of did ruin the scene. You know, I was, I, I did enjoy it. It was very scenic, and then hearing that did take a little bit away. But the MRH 90 does touch down, squad deploying. Probably gonna get something like a toe fob up on the edge of the lip here. You can see on the right to left, now middle of your screen, way far back, you have the Russian hip. About to be doing the same thing as Aussies dismount and push out, dropping a rally, trying to get a good view of the valley. I mean, good looking map. It just plays a bit odd. That was actually fantastic. <laughs> All right. Going to take a quick look at the map before anything happens too much. Let's make sure our icons are up so you guys can see properly. Uh, upper Poppy Farms. Then you have Eastern Poppy Farms. Then you have Central Mansion. Then you have Bridge Hold Fast. Orchard. Bridge Hold West. Urban Outskirts. And Checkpoint. Yes, that is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I even forgot Hermit's yeah, Estate. This is a 9 a cap um, layer. Ammo. That's, I mean, that's all I'm going to need. As Command Chat earlier said... Sheesh! That is, this is a long random advance and secure round. Uh, this is one, even though it has nine caps, to be honest, most of the time you're going to be fighting over these two Spool objectives on, here. On Central Mansion and Bridge Holy. Sorry, just looks like, oof. Looks like we're about to have... Oh, these BTRs might just catch command and they're lodgy out. ETR is rolling through the valley. Command needs to be very careful. They did, I, I believe, just turned right in. Just yeah, you can see the, the top yeah, stay, um, stay as north of that lodgy. Yeah, Having a couple dismounts. They'll be, they'll be getting a fob up here. As the BTRs are just kind of patrolling right now. Trying to secure their half of the map. Pretty standard rollout so far. As MRH90 once again drops, dropping more supply. Like I said, usually on these these types of uh, layouts, you're going to have a couple tow fobs, some MGs up on the, the top of the valley. Right on the cliff side. Got it. And it's just going to be a huge the, pain for the, vehicles. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. 
Oh. Sorry for the quick camera movement. We had two squads run right into each other. Look at all that. <laughs> Red and blue. It is a slaughter. Half Aussies down. Half Russians down. Yeah, five. You're going to have to wave off for a while from us. Do we got any PTR one up? And that is a squad wipe for the Russians. Aussies come out the better side. And that is not what you want. Especially after driving... Look at how far they had to drive just to do that. Oh, that is a bit rough here. And I hope that these guys destroy this Lodgy. Uh, this is going to be a full Lodgy. You're always going to want, in my opinion, you always destroy this Lodgy. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, infantry man. can just push yeah, right back up, drop a radio, and it doesn't look like they're going to be doing that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this comes back to bite them. We'll have to see. All right, we're going to try and see if we can get an mark accurate. Accurate. You see the BTR is right here in the center, but right off to your, <laughs> look at this, Aslav just kind of perched. These BTRs are doing well though. I, I, I like the just roaming together, we making sure they don't the get BTRs. caught off We're trying to get both of us here. all by hey, themselves. And the Aslav, I'm wondering the BTR if he can see him yet. Attack mark. We're gonna try and... Coming up right behind them. Oh, you can see, yep. Aslav, Steven in. But it's just one. One Aslav against two BTRs. BTR should come out on top, even if they do get ambushed. Uh, They're not even distract looking. Distract those if you can. Distract those if you can. There's infantry squad nine. And the ATGM. The the what in the world? A, a toe comes in from the other side, and the Aslavs are pouncing. Worst timing for the BTRs. One Aslav on the left, so another one in the far BTR right. BTR the other BTRs is saying, you know what? Maybe if I just don't move. Maybe he doesn't see me. But now it he's looks a, like maybe his gun's out. I don't know if the gunners, they're trying to figure out what's going on. One BTR. They're not even worried about the Aslab. They should be worried about the Aslab. Takes a shot at the AT. He's now engine. Finally getting some shots on target. I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't know. The BTR cannon is not enough. That Aslab though. On, oh man. He almost, almost cooked off. Second Aslab coming in, turning his cannon into the BTR, and both goes down for Russia. I want to say this was. Yeah, copy five. We got a tow up, um, so just take your time. I'm trying to figure out how the ATGM came in earlier uh, to kick that all off. I almost want. I I almost feel like that was like a TK. Because there's no. You know, maybe it was these guys jumping on the toe themselves. Oh, and just uh, as we we'll see that, RPG hits the PMV, catches fire, and they bail. I don't think they're going to be able to do much, if anything. We got dismounts, and oh, that is not good. Caught completely behind. Vic on fire, crew dead. Canadian, or Canadian, Aussie Vic goes down. Yeah, where's that ATGM? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure we just got shot by a toe. You did get shoot, shot by I a toe. Yeah, I heard it. I, heard I think it. this ATGM uh, earlier. And get a yes, this was uh, this was yeah, friendly. You actually had a Russian almost destroy the BTR, and There's I think that that here. caused a Sorry. bunch of confusion earlier. Oh, toe comes into the toe. He got it a little short. Where he's trying to go. I thought he was going to aim at the 
He's the GM himself. Enemy tow is on nine observe. It's unmanned, so you should be good to come in five. You should be good to rip my frames. Wow. Uh, give me is that a gr no, enemy no, grenade? No, Friendly no. grenade? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'll bring it there. My grenades are landing right There's, here. Um, 900, 600 in this thing for you. Maybe you got a GL. I, got an I mean, this is I this is super long range down. GL. If this is. Right now. We got the down. now you have the the LAVs. Yo, infantry doing a fantastic job. I mean, these are very long range grenade shots, doing just enough to get the infantry off the ATGM. And you can see. Yeah, there they... I mean, these are long range, dude. I like that. And just as we take a peek, the Aussie Abrams are now coming into frame. T-72s are up. Abrams are up. And a whole bunch of ordnance coming in on the Russian I side of the cliffs. Toe, west of Squad 9's have. Uh, that is accurate. Does sound like we also it, had. Probably. Yeah, you can see T72 dumps a, a shot short. Jesus Christ, the hell right next to us. Nearly taken out the Aussie helicopter. These I shots are coming in close. Oh, actually, what really hits them? They're really shit hitting us. Actually, is able to get a shot off. Oh, they did hit me. Never mind. Jeez. Yes, they they did hit me. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Back. And wait a second. What is squad eight doing uh, way out there? Advised, armor be advised on nine. We got a repair station going up now. We have a Russian transport. I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do much. Uh, it looks like a common engineer, a grenadier, maybe a medic. But you have the Abrams now. I mean, this is a long range fight. This is about almost 2,000 meters between the tanks. The Abrams in the north and the T-72s down south. Oh, wait a second. Yes. They're dropping. Oh, oh did they actually pull it off? Maybe he got C4 off. Oh, they... I, I think the noise, whenever you drop C4, it makes a little plop sound. I think that might have spooked the Abrams. They're trying to figure out, hey, I, I could have sworn I heard something. I could have sworn I saw something. Yep, there goes the C4. Unfortunately, they don't have any AT. Now, as, as the Abrams are looking to engage 2,000 meter tank uh, fights. They now have to worry about the infantry right behind them. And wow, they actually hit him. A 2,000 meter round slams into the side of T-72. That is a long range shot. I got the shot from behind us. Looks like the T-72 actually hit, a, hit an Abrams as well. Oh, right through the front plate of the T-72. These are long range fights, guys. I'm surprised they're able to get so many shots on target. T-72 on the right side. One goes down. T-72 on the right does pop. What a fantastic set of shots. Abrams on fire. For the Aussies, they need to get out and repair that quick. As the infantry are starting to just harass the Abrams. Oh, and they're able to get right around. Rounds landing all next to the Abrams. They need to be careful for the infantry. No way, infantry MVP takes out both crewmen and the Abrams will cook off. Oh wait, the Yaslav comes in and mops them up. Can they get the fire out? Seconds to get the fire out, and no! Uh -oh. The Abrams does go down. Uh, do you one Abrams down, one T-72 down. Oh, I see a tank. Oh my god, it's shooting. Uh, I'm getting shot by the tank. T-72 still oh, taking yeah. impacts. Yeah. 
That round goes a little wide. I think the enemy tank burnt as well. Yep, no, no, we hit him. We hit him, dude. We hit him with the toe. He's good. I mean, he's down. Oh, it's sick. Okay, so oh, they need to be careful. These comms okay. are not good. The They're saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. still up. One is still up behind the bam, uh, uh, berm. I'm trying to hit him with the fucking shots, lobbing him over. But I'm on angle. The T72 really is backing oh, up. Nine observe. On nine observe, he's on fire. Is that's the one you're not you're not talking about that one, right? Uh, the one on fire is sitting next to him. Oh, and where did that come from? Oh, ATGM! Like Needs to be very careful. I think he's trying to take a shot. Oh, he dumps it short. ATGM might be coming in just after the smoke clears. Alright, uh... Be careful he peeks fight. this. Oh, and he takes out the gunner and the ATGM flies right by! Very lucky that they were able to figure out exactly where that AT gym was. Yeah, we need, we need ammo. It's one shot and that Abrams could have just gone down. Now he has to swap right back to where the T-72 was because he he's still in a very long range tank fight. The infantry have gone. There's only a handful left, but you this, know, between uh, AR and marksmen, there's not much you can do. And the T-72 yeah, is still just sitting on the other side of the berm. And just as I say that, he actually peeks. Lobs it. Both lob it. It did actually kind of look like the T-72 pinned a little bit, but I think they both hit right over. Abrams shooting long. T72 has a chance now. Oh, deflects off the front plate. Abrams has fired three, are a little too long. They're getting some smoke out. And they're saying, you know what? We might be low on ammo, might even be out of ammo. And this is all they Yo, can do. Evil, are you busy right now? Any chance you could bring us a repair station? Um. Yes. T-72 still has him in his sights. Yeah, you hear him trying to ask for a repair station. They're probably definitely low on ammo. Can you come to our sixth move? I can try. This is going to come down to who gets support first. As you can see, Squad six. I don't know if they're gonna try to help get a repair station. I see a move mark. So these guys might be helping out the tanks, trying to get a repair station fob. Helicopter is gonna be trying to get a, a fob. Yeah, I'm gonna bring a repair station with you now. Just we will sure have to see, private. but I think for now, you know. both teams kind of trade blows. T72 goes down. Abrams goes down. 327 tickets to 310. It's been nearly half an hour. And tickets in the 300s for both these teams. Aussies have Upper Poppy Farms, East Poppy Farms, Central Mansion, and Bridge Hold East. While the Russians have Hermits, Checkpoints, Urban Outskirts, Bridge Hold West, and Orchard. It is an absolute slugfest. And a lot of the fighting right now, if you're not in the vehicles, are kind of in this mid... I don't want to say DMZ, No Man's Land. But this just... This is kind of why people get a bit frustrated playing Anvil over and over again. Hey, uh, you get I sucked into the valleys. You have to play the valley. But a lot of people are going to be chilling up on the... Uh, chilling up on the cliffside, shooting down at you as you try to play the objective. Just very, very difficult. We now have some infantry action here. Canadians, we're going to pop on... Or Aussies, we're going to pop on our markers we can see a couple of russians had pushed in to this aussie hab i'm gonna do one more uh, supply run to you now Squid this six, is the, the hab that we saw from the very beginning Perfect, of the game you. Sure. And you can see it just takes both teams ages
to start uh, actually getting into close quarters fighting. Nope. Got Bushwicky here. Hold on. I've got a bandage. Oh, it doesn't look like he knows that he's got an Aussie right in front of him. Both players. Look at this. Within meters of each other. Honestly, if you're booty clap over here, you should have been able to hear the bandage. Thank you, Fly. Sure. Now you got two Russian bush wookies. Hey, hey, I saw we're taking shots, we're taking shots. Here, uh, for me. Copy, go away, I don't see him. Yeah, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. Jesus see, they're, they're shooting at the combat NG. And actually able to do a little bit of damage control. Boss Assassin still up, takes out one and a second. Ozzy does go down. So the revives work. Bushwookie fighting continues. And oh, you have format coming in from the east side. You have a couple more Russians on the west. And what was kind of a good hat to start. Now you might be in a really bad situation where you're gonna have enemies literally yeah. above you shooting yeah, down into your fob. Yeah, hit him right now. Go it. He's gone. But they don't have a lot of support. Good shots yeah. with the SVDM. I have good no idea shoot. what that name means. PM. You good fine, man. PM. You got away. That was perfect. PM question mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Whoa, indeed. Trying to peek out of the bushes. Good. Got Teak. Him. Quick burst fire. And now there's just one more Russian left, and it looks like we're going to be all clear on the Aussies here in a second. This this was the marksman that was picked up a second ago, so he has no stamina. It's pretty much a cool breeze. We'll kill him. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you have reinforcements, Russians now overrunning the ATGM position. And the high ground is just really advantageous right now. As Grenade comes in. I'm just going to put a reinforcement. Ozzy's about to get blindsided here. Marksman does go down, but this hill push... You can see, now that we have the markers on, you have three pushing high. And we have one of them is a medic, uh, Urakai. With a medic and the high ground and a couple more people that can get picked up, the Aussies might be in a really bad spot. Oh, he turns around just at the worst time. Goes full auto with the Russian. Not able to do anything. Misses all the shots. And great peeks! Insane hab defense. Quick peeking, taking out two. Just like that. And that might be it. Might be one left. Yeah, Urokai, the medic. Is one of the last ones up. And Splat, doing a quick turn. Does tag Skyline just a little bit. Oh, he does see him coming around the repair station. Is he, go for, is he going to go for... Oh, I thought he might have been going for the grenade, but he bandages himself. That was actually very good awareness by Splat. He got shot, knew he wasn't super damaged, continued the fight, didn't bandage right away, and was able to just take a couple more shots and then bandage when it was a bit safer. A lot of people, whenever they get shot, just panic and they insta-bandage. You don't always have to do that. But you might, if you get grenaded and Splat does get grenaded, Splat goes Splat, hollow, sure, shot. Should be able, he has a pistol? I don't know why he's doing that. As the F-18 Hornet comes in. And slams into the Russian position. And that actually was a pretty damn good airstrike. Knocks out the Hab. Oh, just right in the meantime. You have... Oh, it is incredible. Dude, since the start of this game... Um, it's been half an hour. And we are just now starting to have enemies on an enemy objective. Aussies are finally contesting the Russian objective. This map is just so large. 
One sec, take him out, I can help you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I do not know why Enemy tank we are looking at what we're C2 seeing right somewhere. here. T-72 is in the valley. Usually not where you want to be in this map. Uh, no need, no need. I see him pulling up to me and my fucking dude is seeing him. So you can just keep busy with what you're I doing I can't right imagine now. this T-72 is going to live that long now that he's in the valley. Thank you, though. They're calling it a BMP. It is not a BMP. You got a BTR, you can see right up here. Yeah, T-72 down the other road. There's a lot of armor for the Russians. Here on comms, the Aussie is trying to figure out exactly where that tank is. The BTR takes a shot from AT from the north side. The Aussies are pushing and trying to capture this objective. So pushing in with just armor and no infantry is a little risky. I'm going to pop this on real quick. It's not completely overwhelmed, but you see Duster, uh, Monier, Still contesting just enough that I'd be super nervous if I was a vehicle down here. Let's take a look at what. So we see the Abrams that we just heard on command comms. They're going to be trying to push to get into position because they know this. They know exactly where this T72 is. Uh, unfortunately. Let's hear an ATGM go off. Yeah, copy, copy. Uh, that T seventy two mark is is approximate. I'm not gonna lie, copy. I don't. Ah, there it is. Squad eight just ATGM and misses the T seventy two, and now our, it hits uh, it. Can't see with the smoke. And the LAV coming in with the T seventy two. No way. He might get himself a huge kill. It goes straight into the engine block. If he's brave, they can do it. He smokes out, says, you know what? I don't want any of that. Let's let it for the ATGM. Oh my gosh. That Ozzy takes an HG round right to the head. Squad six. Squad six. And uh, on the Russian nine, armor isn't in a tank horrible tank spot. Tank tank. Ah, okay. double smokes. That's unfortunate. I don't know if he tried to do that on purpose. But you don't, never want to double smoke. One, you don't know where people are going to shoot you from. And two, if you double smoke in the same spot, that doesn't do any good. One Russian crew member goes down and the T-72 is pretty much in a death sentence here. I can't see any way that the T-72 stays alive. You got Aussie infantry surrounding him. And only a matter of time before the AT gym position earlier. This is where... Oh, we see him running up to it. Hop it on. Say, please, give me that kill. Well, did you not see him? He's right there. I don't know if there's too much smoke. I, I, dude, I honestly think the Aussies smoked their own ATGM position. They smoked themselves. They can't, they can't see. Is that tank down yet? Guys, we're... Nah, no, tank we're trying to find it. We can we're watch, guys. Uh, we can watch right. Oh, T-72 is still just we're chilling. Squad, squad four is just two. We're oh, we're great dead. work. By the Canadian bush we'll keep. Four, we're down the half right now. Wow, great we're shot. Abrams. Finally finds himself on the cliffside, knocks out the BTR, which had hit by ATGM earlier, and there comes around, flies right over the T72. Right T72 is trying to figure out where exactly. He has no idea. Sounds like a Carl Gustav just trying to take a shot, and he min armed. Abrams, I don't know why he's not trying to shoot the T72. He's taking a cheeky shot at infantry. Maybe that's why ATGM. Comes in and pop goes the turret. There goes the crewman and T-72 obliterated. Enemy tank is down. Good shit. I'm gonna resupply that um, the squad six, squad 
Oh, no, on the wrong. Squad 8, we got infantry moving in north side of uh, Echo 5 half. Yo, sir. Great work from the ATGM on the hillside. Oh, yeah. And Russian armor in the valley goes down. And we can see, look at this. You have an Abrams, a tow, an Aslav repair station. Your infantry have pushed up to resecure. And right in the nick of time, the helicopter coming in for a resupply. Aussies with a huge show of force on the north side of Anvil. Be advised, we have enemy possible hab on such a ranch. Take a map, uh, look at the map here real quick. Oh, wait a second. How did this happen? Did anyone hear this on command comms? I did not. I'm out here thinking the Aussies. Oh, hello. Go goodbye helicopter. I'm out here thinking the Aussies are are winning based bridge. on comms. And yeah, the Russians bridge. have actually We're come in and knocked out bridge hold east despite losing all their armor, despite having worse positions. 226 tickets to 152 despite being almost 100 tickets down the russians have pushed somehow into bridge hold east a, a bob way out the east side they, i mean they went way east to get this up that is actually super super sneaky now we have a bridge fight let's take a look at this you can see the the kind of dome half dome is the cap point you got Bentley, Lechuga, Gato, Rex, Leon, and Doobie. Yeah. Bentley has gone down on the north side, so Russians on the south side. This does look like the Aussies. Yep, they have neutralized it, or at least stopped the cap. There's going to be a little bit of a bridge fight as the Aussies try to collect themselves and say, hey, wait a second, we're winning here. Let's not lose this with something stupid. Recapping bridge is the call on command comms. Yep, you're gonna have a couple people spring in here. It's all up on this on the squad five here. And oh, here we go. As bridge hold east is starting to go down, you now have orchard being capped by the Aussies. This is this is gonna be a little. The timing here is gonna be close. Let's stay with squad five and the Russians. It is all up to this squad here if they can keep the pressure on bridge hold east. If they're able to even just keep it neutral, then we can get a double neutral We're situation. Orchard. We're halfway to new. And the Aussies are going to be in a bit of a tough spot. Southern Russian compound. It seems to me that there's a lot more Russians than Aussies here. That is about to be super true as they're about to cap it with maybe like a eight, eight to two advantage here. Nearly a full squad for the Russians on bridge hold. Just went under the uh, bridge, Carter. You have Carter tossing a nade here on command uh, on comms. He's under the bridge, but he's going for the revive. Yeah, we're capping. We're capping. Oh, man. We're almost new. Both going for the revive. Down when you're up. Assets available. This is very Four close minutes. quarters fighting. Good yeah. peek by the Aussies. Any, uh, one, one down, goes for the revive, gets caught out with a bandage. Uh, Fox Trot 6, more supplies and ammo. But no and doesn't watch their flank. Oh, yeah. One goes down, there's still two more. Just a lot of trades. I mean, this okay, is just this is a little, a little frantic. I don't understand this situation. You have two piled up bodies, and the third Russian just crawls and says, you know what, maybe if I do it, the result will be different. Result is not different. Three Russians go down. You got one more rifleman trying to toss a nade. And tosses it right back into himself. 
<laughs> his nade bounces off the bridge, frags himself, and at the same instant, an Aussie hits him in the side. Not the best of moments. You, Pashana, SO. And Aussies may have stabilized. Yep. Bridge hold east has stabilized. Good defense by the Aussies. Honestly, I, I believe this group here, if they had actually pushed onto the point, they might have been okay. Bridge hold east will be recapped, and then it's all up to now the western side. With the Russians all spawn in south side of Orchard, Eight, which the Aussies have been trying to capture for the past you, uh, 10 or so minutes. But here you have a Russian hab that is down in the valley compared to the Aussie hab that is overwatching. And you can't really see. Like, if we see what the Russians have to see, you have a whole bunch of nonsense right above you got to cross a river and then get up to the objective a very tough position if you're Russian right now Ozzy Markson with the HK takes one Russian down and with his boonie hat Oh, and frags too. Not the type of marksman plays you usually see. Might be ring around the rosy here. Okay, we're gonna need, uh, be we're very gonna careful. Here. You got you see Russian right in that height. Hear him. Here's some footsteps. Oh, and just as he moves out, he did so well to be very methodical. And I think that last bit, he just got a little too ambitious. And Russians are pushing right back into the south side of Orchard. It's, if it, I'm not sure if it's going to be in time, though. Pop on these markers so you can see the western side of Orchard. Got about a fire team size element. Orion, the bento box, and perfect paradox. Coming in, trying to push uh, into uh, the Aussies on the uh, objective. They are all just kind of buttoned up into this fob yeah, or compound, rather. Phase, Bobo, and Whitebeard. Just right. trying to stay on cap. This is the situations you want to let the enemy push to you. You are 60% capped, and look at all the red. We turn on our capture point. All of these Russians, if they literally just move 10 meters northwest, they can prevent the cap from happening. I don't know if they're going to do it. We're getting the kill zone here in the, in the dry creek bed. As Gugamar keeps trying to peek. Oh, great shots. Hold on. Just talking about Gugamar peeking. Jay Dow. Peeks out and takes a Russian with him. Streeter now on the backside. And he goes down. J Dow full autos. Commander, you switching BMB? Oh, okay. Nearly yeah, half of the right. Russians that have pushed out to try to neutralize this have just yeah, gone down for one or two yeah, Aussies and a third. J Dow on fire. Battle Rider also goes down. Not even semi auto, just laying down on the trigger, full autoing. I'll take that with the trade. I think he might have done just enough, and Orchard is secured from the last stand of a handful of Aussies. With that, Bridge Hold West is now in play, and you can see, oh, great work. Aussies had moved out east to destroy the radio. That's also going to be another 10 tickets. You have 252 tickets to 50. That is going to be just about it. I don't see any way that the... Russians can get back on this, even though we see some shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, Kilo, we're gonna need a 
uh, we're gonna need ammo when you get a chance. Coming in. I was about to say It'll some shenanigans, uh, but it looks like the T-72, or uh, the Abrams, rather, able to take care of the RPG super easily. And another BTR. Uh, yeah, Abrams should be able to see him south. easy. Abrams has a fantastic overview of the entire valley. I'm about to call in an SS to Abrams slams it right into the hillside in front of him. There's the BTR yeah, yeah, yeah. coming down the main road. I don't know if he sees him. I'm, uh, hey, Command, this is four. Can we get a pickup? You got Russians yes. on top of that police station. So you can see you got the 50 cows trying to do some damage, at least to suppress them, keep their heads down. And the BTR is now trying to help support the Abrams. Just needs to push a little bit further out because the lip of this cliffside is preventing them to shoot. And there you go. One AT round into the side of the BTR. BTR AP down. round mops it up. No match. Should be about, what, 20 or so tickets left. Four tickets to 241. That is going to be it. Aussies. Clear. 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 It's a definitive yeah. victory. Yeah. 241 tickets to zero. Let's go. Mopping it up with the Orchard Cap. Mopping it up with the Vix. And 240 kills to 142. GG's. Absolute dominant force from the Aussies.